Hi, welcome back to the Gapster channel. Today we're going to talk about how to water your plants automatically using a very inexpensive system based on the Arduino uh, boards and uh, other basically components like a pump and some solenoids and some sensors. We're going to tie all this together to create a very easy way to water your plants, especially when you're away. So this is a brain of the system. You can see that the first uh, sensor, which is right here, displaying 74%. Uh, that means the uh, sensor in this plant is detecting 74% uh, uh, moisture in the soil. And it's programmed that under 20% it should trigger the wire. So if I pull this sensor out, you could see the wire starts pumping. And if I push it back in, it will stop. So it's a pretty simple uh, in a way and it'll make you understand a little bit how the Arduino world works and uh, it's a really beginner uh, example for that. So uh, this has is a kit that comes all together with the sensors that can control four plants. So we're going to go through it a little bit more in detail. The parts, you can go and get them individually, but the easiest way is to use this Electro kit. It comes with all the parts that you need in a nice box, and you got everything in this box. We have all the cables that you're going to need, power supply, more cables, and there's four sensors. These are the moisture sensors, so this can supply four plants actually. This is a Crotail Smart Pump Shield. Basically it's an Arduino board with all the relays on it. Uh, so it's all built in together and it's got a nice uh, display as well. So this is the brain of the system. You have a nice pump. This is going to be used to pump the water. And these are four solenoids that are going to decide which plant is going to get the water. So the pump will run and if one of them is open or more, the water will flow into that direction. And they also included a whole bunch of tubing as well. So all this for $58. You can get it from the Electro website. Link in the description below. And here we are again. This time we're testing a real plant. So we've got the sensor in this plant. The plant is pretty dry, uh, doesn't have much moisture right now. Uh, so it should sense as it needs water. Uh, so I'll explain the system one more time. So the sensor says, okay, I'm, I'm actually dry. So it sends a command to the pump to pump some water and also open the appropriate solenoids and then the water will come here. And as soon as the sensor senses there is enough water for the plant, it should stop. So let's see if that works. So we're gonna I have the shield here in the plastic uh, Ziploc just to protect it in case of any accidents. Uh, once you have everything set up in the real world, then you can start making a little box for it and try to hide all the little uh, connectors. But for the sake of showing you guys how the system works, it's kind of nice to have it all exposed. So I'm going to power the board and as soon as I power it, we should see the water come out here. And as soon as the plant has enough water, the water should stop. So let's see if that is going to work. Uh, the first experiment didn't go so well had <laughs> water going everywhere. I'm lucky to get it all on the board. Uh, so just be prepared at the beginning if you have a misconnection. Uh, also, I did not realize that I didn't have those pushed in all the way. I thought, oh, it's just a little pump. <laughs> this is a little pump, but it's capable of some uh, amazing uh, water pressure. So uh, do not <laughs> underestimate this little pump. Uh, it has a huge amount of pressure. All right, so we're going to push the power button right here. It's going to boot up and there it goes. The water starts pouring in and it just stopped once it sensed that there is enough water. And if I pull the sensor out, there it goes, starts pumping water again. And then it senses that there's enough water, it's going to stop. Now I do have the water a little bit close to the sensor, so it's stopping a little bit prematurely in the real world. You probably put this 
a little bit further away, but I just want to be able to demonstrate a few times for you guys so you can understand how it works. So here's a bit of close-up on the uh, shield here. We call it shield, basically. It's the uh, Arduino board that's controlling the system. So uh, you can see that it actually displays the moisture level of all four sensors. Now, three of the sensors are in water, so that's why they're displaying 100%, uh, while the uh, fourth one, which is uh, in the one in the plant uh, right here, this one is displaying 42%, uh, I believe. Yeah, so it's displaying 42%. So it's pretty cool, so you get to get a sense of the moisture level. Now this one is programmed that if it senses anything less than 20%, then it will uh, basically trigger the water in. So you can see here, uh, if I actually pull that sensor one more time here. Now if you are going to use all four sensors, uh, you have to use this little uh, uh, adapter here that comes with the kit and you basically wire all the hoses for all four. You can see here on the schematics that how you would connect uh, such a system and uh, how to connect all the hoses so it controls all four plants. When you get the box the first thing you are gonna you know, notice is there is no instruction whatsoever in the box itself. But don't despair, on the website of Elecro, where you bought the product, there is a link to the uh, description and a manual. It's a very nicely done manual, actually. At first I said, oh, there's no instructions. And then once I saw the uh, PDF file, it's so very well done. And probably one of the best one I've seen in terms of uh, those kind of products and how it explains everything. There's only a couple little bit things you might want to uh, be mindful of is when you are uh, uploading the libraries to the Arduino that don't just upload the, um, the zip file, the library kit file altogether. What you want to upload is the go into the actually subfolders and upload those to the library. I hope you liked this video and at least if anything you would learn a little bit about the world of Arduino and how uh, it opens up so many different uh, inventions and creations. I'll put a couple links in the corners here and there. Uh, one about how to build some beautiful horn speakers and one about how to uh, find some great music that's going to really make your system work a lot better and also appreciate the music. Take care and I hope to see you again.